Oof. You know, I mean, you're just like holy heat. Sweat Fest 2024 oh. continues into July, Ron. Ron. Yeah, you know, it's interesting because we, we have a couple of long range uh, data that comes out. It's, I believe it's four to eight uh, days. And then you have uh, the eight to 14 day range and then one month, the month of July and then a three month outlook. Each one of those outlooks for uh, Western Pennsylvania are showing it highly likely uh, temperatures are going to remain above average. And the last time we saw below average temperatures uh, here in Western Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, namely, uh, was the last July. So we're now looking at a year, more than a year, uh, the last time we saw that. All right, let's get right into the severe weather setup that we have today. We are under that uh, chance, level two out of five when it comes to severe weather. It's going to come from this area you're seeing over in parts of Missouri at this time. We have a cold front that's sinking down with an area of low pressure that's mixed in with a lot of moisture at this point. That dry air, similar to what we saw last week on the first 90 degree day that we saw uh, last Monday. Uh, remember, a lot of the reason why we saw that was drier air sinking to the surface. We're going to see that later on today, and that's where our storms are going to come from. They're going to be racing from the Midwest and they should be here uh, by about three or four o'clock. So these are going to be storms that are moving at around 50 60 miles an hour coming into place. Now the first round of uh, active weather is going to be up along I 80 and this is going to mainly be some heavy rain showers, a lot of lightning, some big rain totals that is going to be possible up there right along and just north of I 80. Now on the trailing end of this, we'll get what looks to be two rounds of kind of some very fast moving storms that will push through. The first one in Pittsburgh will come through probably right after five o'clock. That'll have an impact on the evening commute. And then the next secondary line of uh, storms, it's not going to be as intense as the first one. Still could potentially reach severe weather limits. That'll be as late as about seven or eight o'clock that that'll get in here. Hey, the storms are moving fast, so they're not going to stick around very long. By midnight, most if not everyone is already dry at that point and we'll be dry heading into Thursday. It'll be a lot more comfortable as well behind the cold front that sweeps through. All right, so a couple of things. Wind concerns are going to be there. Some strong straight line winds. That means things like power outages will be possible. If today's your trash day. Get those trash cans in or they're going to be blowing all over the place. Secondary concern is going to be with these big rain totals, especially north of I 80. It'll be fairly widespread. Your big totals of about an inch, inch and a half, maybe up to two inches. If you're south of I 80, it'll be very isolated to scattered where we could see some of those bigger rain totals. So just kind of give you a heads up there. 87 high temperature today. Sun's coming up. Mostly cloudy skies today. Winds right now out of the south three miles an hour. They'll pick up at around 10 miles an hour this afternoon. Dew point coming in at 62 degrees. Here's those uh, temperatures for you this hour. 69 in Pittsburgh, so we're already starting to warm up. It's going to be a hot one this afternoon. I have us at 87 right there at five. Once the rain gets here, though, temperatures will drop to the 70s for the rest of the afternoon. 87 today. 80 your Thursday high 86 on Friday. I have us in the mid 80s for highs on Saturday, even though I don't have it lit up in yellow. It's also a uh, potential first alert weather day on Saturday uh, because of the possibility of some strong storms ahead of another cold front.